welcome back to fitness nutrition and soul channel and this today we're gonna make the video about magnesium so uh, let's learn about what are the sources of magnesium what are the functions of the magnesium and how what's the important role of the magnesium in the body so let's start um, how much is magnesium found in the body so it's around 30 grams of magnesium is found in your body and half of that is in your bones and the rest is in your muscles in the soft tissue and only or less than one person is actually found in the extracellular fluid so you got in the body we got 66 percent fluid is in the intracellular and the 33 percent is found in the extracellular fluid so that means it's outside the cell uh, it's also can known as the intestinal fluid uh, so free magnesium is generally less than one person found in your uh, extracellular fluid so uh, what are the functions of the magnesium first of all it requires for so many metabolic activities in the body which I think is requ required for more than 300 different enzymes in the body it is required for ATP production as it adds the last phosphate to ATP which is essential for body use of glucose synthesis of protein fat and the nucleic acid so people who don't know what ATP is so everything we eat, either from fat, carbs, protein, uh, when we get the energy, it, the body gives us energy in the form of the ATP. So the ATP stands for the phosphate. So it's the three molecules of the phosphate. So the um, what magnesium does is it adds the last phosphate, so which actually complete the cycle and can provide us the glucose and synthesize of the protein and the fat. And the nucleic acid is the DNA and the RNA, so it helps in the making of the DNA and the RNA as well. Another one, it is very important along with the calcium and the phosphorus for the bone, so it supports the bone mineralization. So, uh, next one is the muscle contraction, nerve uh, impulse transmission, and the reason it does is because it act as a uh, in the cell membrane, it act as a uh, help along with the uh, calcium and potassium to contract the muscle and the nerve uh, impulse transmission. It's required for the immune function. It improves the insulin sensitivity. So what they found is that uh, people who are um, deficient of the magnesium, there are more chances to have the diabetes um, and because the body become more easily resistant. Um, so it improves the insulin sensitivity and what they found is the people with the diabetes um, if they are deficient of the magnesium um, and they take the they improve the magnesium either from the supplement or the, uh, or the food they can um, improve the insulin sensitivity up to 15 percent though um, it helps in the anxiety and it helps building of the protein which i mentioned in that before so in short magnesium is really really important for so many different uh, things requiring uh, for so many different things in the body and so but only one person is found in the um, extracellular fluid so that's why the deficiency of the magnesium is very uh, hard to find because 99 percent of is actually in the muscles bones and the soft tissue so there are different methods they use it and um, but there is no method which can really detect the deficiency of the magnesium properly. Um, let's have a look about the how does the magnesium, how much magnesium absorbed in the body. So 85 to 90 percent of the free magnesium ion is that it's reabsorbed from the filter, uh, that means from the kidney, and only 10 to 15 percent it enter into the urine. However, if you're deficient of the magnesium, then it would not excrete anything out. We will just absorb. The maximum amount um, so kidney plays a very important role in the absorption of magnesium and so many other um, ions as well which includes the sodium and the um, and the other things so uh, let's check out the food sources of the magnesium the very first one is the bean and lentils second one is pumpkin seeds third one is your dark chocolate fourth one is yogurt fifth one is the cashew Sixth one is the chicken breast, seventh one is the peanut butter, and eighth one is the broccoli. So, how much we need? We need 400 milligrams for the man and 310 milligrams for a woman. So, 
we can now we're going to talk about the hypomagnesemia and hypomagnesemia. So hypo is when the magnesium level is below than the recommended in the blood and or in the body. And then the hyper is the um, when it's too much in the body. So the reason it can be, both things happens very rarely though. Uh, so the hypo happens due to the malnutrition, alcoholism, renal tubal dysfunction. So your renal is the kidney and the tubal is the, it's the, it's a tube where the um, waste get excreted and in reabsorption of the water and the ions and all that kind of stuff happens and the, some diuretics. So that's the hypomagnesemia. The symptoms are muscle weakness, irritability and convulsion which is the seizures. Then the next one is the hypomagnesemia which is again very rare. Generally if you're really abusing the supplement in a large dose for months and that can cause it too. And um, <coughs> renal failure and magnesium containing antacids. So again, from the antacids, if you're taking the uh, and also the laxatives as well. Some of these, if you're taking a very strong laxatives, which is rich in magnesium, that can also start building up in the body. The symptoms: nausea, vomiting, hypertension, and reduce the respiration. That means to reduce your breathing. Um, that's it, guys. And um, that's all about the magnesium. And magnesium is very important for the health. And make sure you include all this food in your diet and if you cannot meet from the diet then you can add the supplementation but make sure you either have a blood test before you do it or consult your doctor before you do it and that's it guys thanks for watching my video and i'm gonna come with the more video about the um, other minerals in the next few days and so please keep watching my video and if you haven't subscribed my channel please do it now and also press the bell button so that you guys get the notification when i upload the video thanks guys